Hi, I'm Patrick Nelson, the Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at Lawrence Technological University. I was always curious about how to, I was actually very curious into astronomy as a kid, I was very curious into physics as a kid, um, always creating different things with my hands. Um, I liked working on cars, um, but mostly I was curious about how to, you know, about sports. I really liked math, so I was walking through the quad at ASU and I flipped the coin and it came up tails and that was, I was picking between business and math. It came up heads, I was going business, came up tails, I was going math, came up tails, and I became a math major, met my wife in a math class 31 years ago, um, and that has taken me on my journey exactly where I am today. After my second year at Michigan, I got a career award, which put me on the tenure track line, and, but then after a while, I decided I was really interested more in, in doing experimental research, and I went to work in an HIV lab, and all that transformed into me missing out on teaching and then Ruth Favre one day inviting me to come to Lawrence Tech and I think it was 20, 2008 to give a talk and I came onto campus and I was just love the environment on campus here and next thing I know in 2010 I was an adjunct here and in 2012 I became a tenure track faculty member here. I can understand bio biology, I can understand physics, I can understand math, uh, I can understand statistics. Um, and you know we all are experts in certain areas but I can at least communicate your language so interdisciplinary is I'm learning your field so that I can improve my work I'm impacting people in a way that never thought I'd be able to do there's so much things that need to be done with cancer any kind of infectious disease mental health and I think that mathematical modeling and computational models are ways to really study things in a safe environment um, and can if you do it right and collaborate with and get real data, you're going to be able to actually make impacts. And these faculty are, are younger generations. They're, they have creative novel ideas, but they, we, they've been part of building this culture that is now leading to where, you know, just 10 years removed from where we are, it's like, this is not the same place. Uh, research is, is, is very strong with the faculty in this college. And not just that, they're, the focus on the student-led research is phenomenal. The industry is critically important because then they can open up the doors for our students. Students need to be curious, you know, they need to question. You know, they, they learn a lot through books, but bo books are written by humans and, and by opinions, and the, the students need to be curious in terms of what they want to do, what they're thinking, what's being told to them. I encourage that in a lot of the students because everything's not necessarily set how your parents define it, you define it, you think what's going to happen next year, you don't know what's going to happen. So you got to take risks, it's sort of the thing about the magic. You got to let just things fall into place, you got to work hard, and you got to have faith and trust in that you're doing the right thing. Dr. Nelson is very uh, constructive, I would say. He's, he's always looking for ways to, to build things or uh, to take ideas from either faculty or other administrators um, and combine them in a way that um, is good for the, the university and the college, uh, but also in a way that keeps both sides. So if there's like competing interests, keeps them both kind of in the loop and, and make some type of compromise between the two. Dr. Nelson, he's really good at uh, taking constructive criticism um, and taking that and then collaborating with people to generate um, new ideas or to generate uh, compromises that kind of help both interests of, of the parties uh, involved. He's very democratic, so he's always open to hearing what the faculty uh, uh, are kind of suggesting. He's always, always open to, to listening. As you get to know him, he's, he's this like wonderful, like supportive person that really cares about seeing people succeed. I got to work with him on, on the research that was really interesting to me and him. And in some sense, he mentored me while I was uh, uh, here in my first couple of years. In some really funny way, uh, when I was a PhD student, I was actually studying his research in my classes. So it's kind of cool to come full circle. Now I'm working beside him as uh, a colleague and a mathematician. He's also very uh, proactive when it comes to DEI initiatives. He was one of the supporters of, it's called the Celebration or Circle Celebration Day where a lot of students go and they celebrate the graduation, but it's more of a uh, informal but traditional and families are involved and things like that and that really kind of propelled the college forward 
One of the, the big objectives that LTU is kind of uh, targeting right now is to make R2 uh, accreditation. So which involves uh, a lot of technicals when it comes down to it, but ultimately really means there has to be more research output at LTU.